my new Initiative Marine Nuva 24 tank. I've upgraded from the Fluval Edge. Uh, I've been working saltwater reef tanks uh, for a little while now. I uh, started with a Fluval Edge and uh, Nano. Uh, Nano's being the most difficult tanks if you do convert into reefs. So I've had uh, ups and downs with that tank and uh, I've learnt a lot. So I've decided to upgrade now to the Nuva 24. Really like the design of this tank. Uh, it comes with an acrylic stand. Uh, it's hollow through the bottom. Uh, I think I'm going to put some lights down there, highlight sort of illuminated blue, uh, give it a nice little effect at night as well. And uh, tank itself, uh, 36 inches across, uh, 12 something like 12 and a half inches uh, depth from top to bottom. Uh, the actual display itself though, where you put things in, the depth of that is about 9 inches long, I mean sorry, uh, 9 inches wide. Uh, got a lot of equipment already uh, that I've purchased before. Uh, got the Senai, uh, Senai Reef version. Uh, really like this, it's nice for monitoring uh, sort of ammonia, pH, temperature. Gives you a nice little graphical chart uh, where you can sort of monitor and see how things have been progressing. Also measures uh, PAR. Uh, light, so photosynthesis, uh, and uh, different areas you can check different areas of your tank of uh, where the light is hitting the most. So, I uh, really like that feature on that particular uh, uh, equipment there. Okay, so to start with, then uh, the back, uh, you've got like a whole sort of chamber area uh, where you can put in various different or design and create it uh, the way you want it, really. Uh, what you get with the tank, you get this uh, media basket, uh, it's got three different medias in there. Let me just pull it all out for you. So you've got your various different medias in there, uh, usual stuff. Uh, so you've got that, so I want to keep that particular media basket as it is. Uh, the next chamber I've put in uh, a heater, uh, I've got a heater already, so I've got that uh, already placed in. Uh, down here, you probably can't see, is a, uh, if I just point to it here, is a UV filter. Uh, that's just going to be turned on to begin with when I first start introducing fish, leave that on for about six months. Uh, and then uh, that will just come on periodically uh, to say on a timer it just comes on once twice a week uh, just to make sure that you kill all I uh, will try to kill uh, the free floating ick uh, once obviously as you know once they're attached to the fish it's not going to kill those particular ick uh, but the ones that may be free floating uh, it will definitely sort of help with that uh, at the back here you get with the tank a pump return pump uh, which comes through these two nozzles here one, two, you can direct them anyway. I'm upgrading those to the spin streams. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them, they sort of spin round and round, uh, pushing the flow in different areas. So I'm going to get that. Uh, this next area, I'm going to put in uh, a reactor. I'm going to put in a protein skimmer. Decided to go with the Tunzi 9004. Uh, purely for the fact it fits snug in there. Uh, it's got really good reviews. I mean, I had researched for ages for protein schema that would fit in there. Uh, and that would be good. I uh, came up with the Tunzi 9004. And uh, I'm hoping it's as good as his reviews. Uh, so, I'm going to get that. Inside, I've got two Cruella pumps already. So, I had those spare, so I stuck those in there. And uh, my temperature gauge. I wanted to go with the MP10 Wave Maker. But from where I'm placing the tank, uh, there wouldn't be space for the outside part of it to go. And I don't want to go past this wall area here. But yeah, MP, MP10W would be a nice little feature to have a little wave. I don't want to put anything on the glass here. I don't want to cut into the look too much. Uh, I want to be, I want the, this time I want the tank to be about the reef uh, itself. I don't want it to be about the equipment. Uh, of course you need the equipment to make it run. Uh, but I don't want it to be popping out all over the place uh, and uh, so sort of visually uh, not looking as nice as I want it to be. I want it to be a really clean cut sort of uh, thing. I might even change the heater because it pops up slightly, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, with this particular fluid heater, the water just has to be around about here, uh, the level is. So it's still okay, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't want nothing popping out. Wise wise, I want to make sure these are all end up being nice and tidy. Uh, don't know how yet, but we'll uh, do something with that. Also, uh, this area here, uh, this media basket here, same thing as the, the left side. Uh, however, what I'm planning to do is you get something called a custom Caddy 24. Uh, you sort of can change the levels 
the baskets go uh, and from that what I'm going to do is convert that into a refugium so I'm going to put a lot of macroalgae in there uh, they do, in the marine do do something called a uh, magnet line so basically you cut you use like a razor blade you cut a piece of uh, so draw a line outline here take take or peel off uh, this black acrylic sticker and then uh, it sort of penetrates into uh, the tank itself and uh, you can have a light going through and a uh, should light this area up but I don't think I want to spoil my tank I like it so I don't I don't do any of that so I might just get I've got an old LED uh, I don't know how yet I'm just gonna convert it so that it just sits here and it just pen pushes light into this area here so that the uh, obviously the macroalgae grows there uh, and put some live rock down there as well just sort of broken down live rock uh, I've got my pH slanty reader of course nothing is turned on yet uh, I have ordered uh, an LED light uh, after much dilemma I mean there is so many options out there uh, you can go with the Hydro 52's uh, I'm, I think my missus would kill me uh, if I spend that because you need two for this tank because of the length uh, uh, so that would cost going to so a thousand pound or so. So plus, if you want sort of uh, uh, the timers and all that, etc., you just you're just talking a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, so then, but I, what I really wanted was something nice and thin, so uh, with a hanging kit from the ceiling, uh, just floats around here. Uh, so uh, after much dilemma uh, and looking at say the I was looking at the Evergrow IT 2080s, uh, got good reviews. Uh, nice length on it, so I knew it sort of penetrate the whole tank. Uh, but it was too chunky. It's still too chunky. I don't want it to be like I said about the equipment. So I found something called a razor, uh, and I really like this light. It's very very thin. Uh, I've ordered it already. Uh, it normally comes, I think, with a sort of 90 degree lens, but now they've come out with these new clips that turn into I think a 180, uh, something like that. So the spread uh, for this tank is going to be beautiful. It's going to go across here. And the LED light itself has got six points of reference, and it's a gradual, it's a gradual step up. So it gradually, like it's like a sunrise, sunset sort of effect. So it gradually increases in light and decreases. Uh, so I've decided to go with that. So I can't wait till those get here. And uh, then of course I need to uh, get the rest of the stuff. But I don't want to be moving this tank around a lot. So I want to make sure I've got all the equipment first. Then I want to put in the water because last time with the flu, you're pushing it here, you're moving it there. You turn out, I've done with all of that. So you want to set it up once and for all. Know that you're happy with it and keep it and just keep it in that same spot. And uh, so that's that's the plan first to so get all my equipment, get it all in there. And uh, I really hope you like the tank. So let's just take a quick tour around it again. So from this angle here, from this angle here. Honestly, it's a beautiful tank. I wish I had better li lighting in this room. Uh, and you could really see it. But once I think the razor's on there, uh, and I've got that all hooked up, then you'll be able to see it a lot better. So I will do future videos, of course. Uh, Cycling-wise, then, uh, I'm going to aquascape it quite nicely this time. So I'm going to do the live rock in the way I want it to be. And uh, so I'm going to take my time with that and uh, get some live sand. Uh, of course, you don't turn on uh, any protein skimmers or any UV filters while all that all the cycling process going on. Just let the flow go, let it cycle, let the diatoms build up, etc. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to put in a, a shrimp just to help it cycle a bit better, and uh, like a dead shrimp that is not a live shrimp, and uh, let that break down and uh, give it a couple of months, and it should be cycled very nicely and. Uh, Live rock wise, I don't think I'm going to uh, get live rock to be honest. Uh, I might go dead rock, and because uh, last time I got, ended up getting loads of critters, loads of crabs, and they started eating all my zoas and stuff like that. I was doing my brain in, so I don't want to go that way again. I just what, what's in the tank is what, I've, what I would have put in the tank this time, so I might just go with dead rock, uh, just live sand, of course, but dead rock. Uh, and bacteria, as you know, just you can't stop it. It just it just sort of blooms as long as you let it cycle. And uh, then yeah, uh, getting my fish, uh, putting a couple of fish first. And uh, once they're sort of the tank stabilized again after a few months, 
uh, I'm probably going to put in an anemone first just because you know as you know an enemies move around the tank I just want to know where it settles down uh, and where it's happy and once I know that then I can work around that sort of putting in what corals I need to in various different places but that's the plan anyway uh, if it works out that way who knows but that's what I'm in my mind I'm thinking but anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video I uh, hope you like the tank and uh, if you need any help uh, just let me know uh, I know a bit about reefing now and I uh, made plenty of mistakes to know what not to do so I'm hoping this time around uh, it goes a lot it goes a lot easier for me uh, over and out take care bye